Good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning. To God be the glory and to the most high that we honor, we say thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for giving us breath. Thank you for everything that you do and that you will continue to do with us. Um, so let's get into the video. It's been a while, guys. Um, a lot's been conspiring. We've been having, you know, a lot of family functions um, that we wanted to keep um, private and intimate. Um, yeah, and Danaja got an injury. I'll post a picture of her little self or whatever. But we're dealing with that right now or whatnot. Um, she fell off of a computer chair because y'all know these little people don't be wanting to listen. When you tell them, don't do it, they wait for you to disappear and do it anyways. But, you know, I thank God it's nothing serious. Um, it's um, just a hairline fracture and stuff like that. So in case y'all see in the video that she got a knee brace or whatnot, that'll be the reason. But for today's video... The what we're going to talk about, what we're going to, you know, elaborate on, I should say, is this one little quote um, that one of my girls um, liked and thought that I should, you know, talk about it. So let's get into it. Um, so it basically states, in order to go forward in life, you have to put faith over fear. So... I really, really like this because it is true. You can't move forward in life if you're not going to have faith. You know, we talked about this, I believe, in another video. Without Lack of faith is what to you? It's not doing nothing for you. So you really want to have faith in everything you do. When you have faith, that means you have God first. That means you know that you're a go-getter and you're going to go get it. And you're not going to let nothing stop you, no matter what. So keep the faith up. Don't ever give up. You might have a timeline set up for a year. And it might take a year and a day. It might take a year and a month. Who knows? It might take a little bit longer than that one year. But you can't give up faith. Because if you're giving up faith, that means you're giving up on trusting the man above. Um, you know, and we we talk we talk about this all the time or what that um lack of faith you're basically fearing you're fearing that okay i can't do it it's not going to happen to me i'm not the lucky one who am i to get this or whatnot we can't fear we can't doubt we can't do none of that or whatever we have to have faith like um i'll give an example or whatnot um I had um, this bleeding condition or whatnot, or whatnot. I gave up faith or whatever. I, I was like, you know what? I'm so scared. I'm fearing for you know my well being and my health. And am I gonna be around um, long enough to see my kids and stuff like that? But we'll get into details with that. But that was like a fear that I had, and I forgot. I got God. If I'm putting Him first and I have faith that everything's gonna be okay. How did I let fear overcome that to the point where you're stressing? When you're fearing, when you're scared, when you're worried, that's stress. And guess what, guys? Stress kills. It really does. Like, if if y'all don't know by now, I'm Haitian. I'm an islander. Islanders like to stress. They stress about everything. It could be an ant pile that should have stayed to the right of the house. It's now on the left of the house. They trying to figure out, oh my God, what are we going to do? This, that, or that. It's just everything. You know, they, they, they got late by one day for a payment. Oh, it's the end of the world. It's World War um, 20,000. Who knows? I'm sorry, guys. I'm just saying, you know, um, if we're going to move forward in life, in anything we do, whether it's purchasing a home, whether it's graduating high school, whether it's graduating college, whether it's buying a car, whatever it may be, it may be starting a family, it may be tying the knot, whatever it may be, guys, we cannot allow fear to overcome faith. We have to keep the faith up there. We have to keep it alive. Fear has no space in your life. Don't give fear. Don't. Fear is a negative. 
Faith is a positive. We don't want no negatives. Throw them negatives away. Throw them away. Put it in a bag, tie it, burn. I don't care. Do something with it. But fear? No. Fear not. Come on now, guys. Do y'all not have faith in yourselves? Do y'all not believe that y'all are worthy of any and everything in, in life? Whatever you want, you could have. It's mind over matter. Let's stop fearing. Let's stop acting like fear got us. No. Faith got us. God got us. God got us first and foremost. And everything else falls into place. Let's not give into it. So remember, guys, in order to go forward in life, you have to put faith over fear. Always put the positive over the negative because it will suppress it, press it down, crumble it, crush it, diminish it, burn it, eliminate it, make it disappear. And guess what? You're going to sit there and be like, I'm winning. If y'all haven't done the vision board, get them vision boards. That's where your faith going to lie. You're going to wake up and be like, I'm going to do this. This is happening today. And with that being said, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Please turn on post notification. Tell your friends and family and help get us to 1K subs. We love you. We love you. Love you. Please comment down below any videos that you would like to see, anything that you want us to do or whatnot. We are, you know, up and running. Just had a little, you know, dibble dabble to do with our family and stuff like that. But we back in the flesh and we got this. Love you guys.